Today I'm exploring the Forgotten Football Club of White Hart Lane, Haringey Borough FC. Tottenham Hotspurs is usually the first team you think of when you say White Hart Lane. But just 1.3 miles down the road is non-league team Haringey Borough. Haringey Borough were formed in 1973 after a merger between Wood Green Town and Edmonton. While Spurs play at their new billion pound stadium, Haringey play here at Coles Park, a humble ground that can fit in up to 2,500 people, although an average attendance is about 400. But those 400 people get something that only non-league can offer, the connection, the relationship with the players and coaches and management staff, and the just experience you get at non-league teams. And I think Haringey Borough is a prime example of this. Well, what they get is, is uh, free football, because they only pay for friendlies, uh, league games, they come in for nothing. Down the road is uh, Tottenham Hotspur. Not everyone could afford a 50, 60 pound ticket. So they come here, local people in uh, Tottenham and the surrounding areas who can't afford to pay that sort of money, get free football here. It's like a community club. So we try to give the community something back. It's not just about, like most clubs do, is take, take, take off um, their local community. In 2018, Haringey shocked the country, reaching the first round of the FA Cup for the first time in the club's history, drawing EFL side AFC Wimbledon. The game was broadcasted on the BBC, and despite losing narrowly 1-0, the 2,710 people that attended the game and the coaching and playing staff were left with an unforgettable experience. Well, again, it was a fantastic, probably the best night this football club's ever had. Um, we played against a team that was four divisions above us, full-time, and uh, we managed to hold out until the 91st minute, and they beat us by a deflected goal. And that deflected goal cost the club hundreds of thousands of pounds, so um, it was a fantastic night for everybody, I think. Tonight, the Borough are taking on another football league outfit, this time in the form of London rivals Leighton Orient. Well, we always... Uh, have friendlies against uh, higher opposition. Uh, it helps the club financially because hopefully we get a bit of a crowd here tonight. And um, it's a good test for the players because we've got a few trialists tonight. So I want to see how good they are or how bad they are um, against players who have played at a high level and are and also full time. The last time these two teams met was in 2017, where the O's made a comeback to win 2 1 in the FA Trophy. And you've been here for nearly 14 years now. Yeah. What sort of legacy are you trying to build? Well, I'm trying to get this club into the conference. We've had three promotions already. Uh, we've had some good FA Cup runs and trophy runs. But I would like to see this club go full time. If, if we had the money, I could get promoted every year, but we haven't. So uh, it's taken a lot longer and it's really hard. But I'm sure one day before I retire, we'll get them into conference and um, full time football. And talking of Tottenham, how does your job as a manager compare to someone like Conte? Oh, Conte couldn't do my job. <laughs> he could never do my job. I have to wake up in the morning, sweep the terraces, get the stadium right, and uh, he wouldn't like to do this job. Conte is a fantastic manager. He would never take a job like this, would he? So, uh, and he doesn't have to. Um, every, every manager's job uh, it has got his own stresses and uh, whether you're full-time or, or semi-professional, they're all full-time jobs. You're at home, you're thinking about your football club and your football team. So um, I admire any, any, anybody in football, especially in management. So as always you got some food, there was a long line uh, and at the end we got a cheeseburger and chips 
as you can see the bread is a bit torn my dad tried to rip it in half so he could share but failed uh, and we also got these chips here so let's try one yeah really nice and hot and crispy as usual and that cheeseburger looking quite nice the cheese is all melted and the buns toasted as well Well, that's the end of yet another video and I really hope you have enjoyed watching. Uh, thank you so much to Tom, the manager of Haringey Borough, for agreeing to do the interview with me. I really have enjoyed my time here. Of course, the game ended 2-1 to Leighton Orient, but I'm sure it was a great experience and runabout for the Haringey players and a really good challenge and test. For me, as a viewer of the game and a sort of neutral, it was a bit flat, it was a bit slow paced, but of course, what can you expect from a pre-season friendly? But it was just great to get back out here to a stadium, especially a non-league one, and to watch some football. Uh, and hopefully now the season's about to start again, we can get back to uploading regularly videos. Uh, if you did enjoy watching, please make sure to like, subscribe, share and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.